I don't do the most, but I do a lot. I'ma make a toast, cause we still alive. No big, I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in hot. YouTube world uh, I'm taking an opportunity today for a quick little video maybe not quick um, my daughter has a 2009 Jeep Wrangler and I'm taking an opportunity today this Sunday afternoon to go through vehicle maintenance with my daughter um, this is a Jeep with already kind of high miles it's over 150 180,000 mile uh, Jeep but I want to take the opportunity to her to go over how to do an oil change, how to uh, change the air filter and the oil filter, and make sure that all the fluids are topped off. Um, may seem like a medial task, but uh, I think it's something that uh, someone who has a vehicle should understand how to maintain that vehicle. to um, so be able to check these things. So this is gonna be a little father-daughter bonding time, and uh, I'm just gonna try to have as much fun as you can with changing oil, but um, it's gonna be an experience. So uh, we'll get to it here in a second. We are gonna start with changing out the air filter. We have our oil for high mileage. There's the air filter. And I'm gonna use a genuine Mopar parts. We're also going to top off the uh, washer fluid and check the antifreeze level. All right. Make sure it's settled on each side. So now we know the basically gauge where the oil level was. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're gonna put that back in. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drain the oil off the bottom first, then we'll do the filter. Okay. Ooh, she's dirt. Alright, so this is your oil pan. That's 
the thing? That's the nut that has to come off. But while you're under here, look. It's got oil. You've got drips here. What does that mean? It's just where this is like your transfer case. Mm -hmm. So it's just with age, seals get old and things leak. Yeah, so I do. So first thing we're gonna do, I have this set of magnets in here to get everything that I'm putting in near the drain hole so that we can see if you have any metal flakes coming out of it. So how do I do it? So we're gonna take this. Put it on. And you're going to loosen. This one. Ooh, there we go. All right. Wait, now do I take this off? So take the wrench off. Now watch your fingers, because it's gonna oil is gonna shoot out of it. So you gotta make sure. How is, is it gonna shoot out that way? It's gonna shoot down this way. So we're gonna make sure we got the pan placed, so we don't get it all over the place. Did it slow? Yep. You can go slow, do it fast. But when it comes loose, it's gonna gush out. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want it to drip. <laughs> Set that down here in this corner. I didn't get any on my fingers. Good. All right, so what we're gonna do is just gonna let it drain. <laughs> so that when it, I got some oil off the floor. That's fine. All right, so now we're gonna give it about five minutes. Just let it drain. Okay. okay, the next step, we've got the oil filter off. The next thing we're gonna do is put the new oil filter on but when you put it on, you put a layer of oil around the seal of it before you put it back on the actual engine. So we've done that. And now she's putting it back on the Jeep. that on there and then you twist it. Then you're gonna do hand tight and then I'll tighten it up after that. Okay, so the next step, now we got everything drained, is to put the oil cap, oil oil plug, back in place. So we will put that back in place. Take care of any drips. That way we can tell if we did get it tight that there's no other leaks from anything. From where the oil thing is at. And that's it. Alright, so now, now we can actually put the oil in. Now we're going to fill this up. Where's the rag at? The 
So while we're on the topic of maintenance, um, it's early November, and if you are somebody who is on an air ride system, I'm not sure if everybody does this, but it was highly recommended to me that right before the season starts to get to where it's freezing every day, it's a, a good idea to throw some of this air brake antifreeze in your tank and that will help keep your lines from freezing up in the winter. Like if there's too much moisture or condensation getting in there, it'll be something that helps keep it from uh, freezing up. So we got the old change done, the filter gave us a problem, but we managed to get the filter off and then uh, finished that part and then uh, I got the air, airline antifreeze put in my air tank and I'm going to close everything off in there and fill it up and that will have me ready for winter and it will have the Jeep good for another eight to 10,000 miles. Thanks for watching.